You're watching FBC News and leading sports tonight is the best news for football fans in Fiji. FBC today announced it has secured three major football leagues from Europe to be shown live and exclusive on free-to-air television for the first time. The ever-popular Europa League, along with the Capital One Cup and English First Division, will start airing on FBC TV from October. With this historic move, FBC hopes every football fan and Fijians in general will be able to enjoy top-level football without having to fork out any money. Shelvin Chan with more. A goal up from the first leg in Russia. Captain Samuel Eto'o... The Europa League, the English First Division and the Capital One Cup, formerly known as the Carling Cup, have never been broadcasted on free-to-air television. This is something for the sports-loving people of Fiji. Uh, this is such a, a, a huge event. It, it, it is an incredibly big event. We've been working very hard at it for quite a number of months. Uh, we noticed that uh, there is no international soccer on any free-to-air channel in Fiji. And uh, it's, it's, it's a shame, really. FBC will not be stopping here. There are more things planned for the people of Fiji. International soccer is not available on free-to-air television in Fiji. You have to be part of a, very, uh, of a very small group of privileged people who can afford to subscribe to uh, a pay service to be able to watch uh, international soccer. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's pure injustice. It, it shouldn't be like that. We should be in a position where, as broadcasters to, be, uh, to, to do as much as we can. And what does the public think? Plenty of people will watch uh, uh, soccer on FBC. It will be all free. And it's a good news. At least I don't have to pay to watch international game. It's good for us now that we get international sports free. It's awesome news. Now I can watch my favorite place. So it's good news if you love football and have been wanting to watch top clubs like AC Milan, Liverpool, Tottenham, Bayern Leverkusen and countless others in action, but have not been able to because of money matters. Well, stay tuned to FBC TV as the Europa League, the English First Division and the Capital Cup comes your way next month. Shelvin Chan, FBC Sports. Now that's something to look forward to. Moving on with sports, there will be three Fiji Sevens teams trained for the World Seven Series. It's part of an effort by the coaches to develop consistency in the national sevens team's performance. Here's Selvin Chand again. Injuries and overseas contracts have seen the sevens team lose players and with it the consistency in performance. This time around, the coach is not taking any risk. Uh, we will pick three teams. Two will uh, be using for this uh, IRB series and one is to supplement the two teams. The seventh team held its second fitness test today and saw the return of senior players. See what's on go to back, attending the fitness test and uh, set a fan of the cow and uh, players from the last season in the Warden's team. One player who is making a comeback on the seventh scene is hoping to do his country proud. I'll try my very best to prove myself in this uh, training and the uh, sevens uh, camp, uh, the few weeks ahead of us. Gold Coast Sevens takes place on October 12th and 13th. Fans in Fiji are sure that Fiji has the talent to dethrone New Zealand, but it's yet to be seen with a new look team to feature this year. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. The Fair Brother Challenge match this Saturday between Nandrunga and Northland has been called off. And according to the Fiji Rugby Union, it's because of the weather. In a statement issued this afternoon, FRU says the weather conditions are not favourable. However, Nandrunga Rugby Union spokesperson Tiko Matuwalu believes the FRU is yet to make up its mind on a proposal they sent to them. Nandrunga wants a bigger stake in the gate takings and until yesterday had not declared the venue. Matawalu says they will wait for word from the FRU before deciding on the next venue. Nandrunga, the current holders of the Fair Brother, hope the FRU makes a favourable decision. And on to international sports. Wales rugby coach Warren Gatland will be in charge of the British and Irish Lions for their tour of Australia next year. The Lions are chosen from the best players from England, Ireland, Wales and Scotland. The former New Zealand coach was the forwards coach of the Lions on their last tour of South Africa. The Lions will play three tests starting in Brisbane next June. 
That's it from the Sports Team and I tonight. Don't forget, coming soon to FBC TV are the Europa League, Carling Cup in English First Division. You don't want to miss that.